Hey guys, David here with Sheepdog Services. So, it's been a little bit since I did my uh, trailer setup video. Uh, tonight, I want to show you how I how I store all my stick equipment and my blower and my chainsaw, my my hedge trimmers. Of course, I didn't go over that in my my video the other day, but uh, I'll cover them today as well. All right. As you can see, it is it's dark out. I'm in shorts, flip flops. I cut the grass about a week ago and it could be cut again. So I, I think spring's pretty much here. So uh, here we go. This is what uh, what I do with all my stuff. I uh, I simply just hang all that stuff up. I keep, uh, keep the backpack blower. That's my edger. That's my uh, 2620T. That's the uh, SRM 225. That's my Husqvarna uh, hedge trimmers and my Echo uh, CS400 chainsaw. Now what I got it hung up on, this right here, this is uh, the Craftsman Versatrack system that I got at Lowe's. And I think it's uh, 75 pounds per panel. And I put two panels up. Now the, these are also the Craftsman hooks. And I believe these are work. Yeah, these are 50 pound hooks. So backpack blower, no problem no actually none of it's no problem whatsoever um the only thing i would say that i did that i messed up on is if you see this uh this this style hook how it flares out that is perfect for hanging this up and it it doesn't hang up i mean it doesn't get caught on anything you don't have to set it a certain way you just throw it on there and go if you look over here i messed up and got the wrong ones and my my edger i mean it holds it no problem but see that little uh, screw hole they kind of fit basically in that screw hole on both sides right there on both sides so that works out and then uh let me move this out the way um on my t25 it's uh it's basically being held up by the gas tank i'm gonna swap these out but uh just not right now um be a little bit these are the uh I just hang my locks up for my my uh, trailer rack. It's just it's just easier to keep up with them that, that way, and it keeps them out of the uh, weather, keeps them from rusting up. But uh, hopefully those will be changed this season. I think I threw that on there. That's something I wanted to upgrade. My uh, hedge trimmers, they are the Husqvarna, the 122 HD 45s. Uh, and these things are fantastic. I've used them a few times. Um, no complaints it's the easiest pull starting uh set of hedge trimmers or actually any kind of piece of equipment that i've ever pull started so i absolutely love these things and this is just on a 25 pound little s hook my uh my chainsaw this is what turned me on to echo in the very beginning uh it is a cs 400 uh i believe it's like a you know what, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I, I think it's like a 20, no, it's a 40 cc engine. And I got the 18 inch bar. Uh, it is dirty, I need to get it down and clean it up and go over it all. I got a uh, tree job coming up Saturday. So that's definitely something I need to get taken care of. So anyway, it's also on the uh, S hook. And like I said, this is just a, this is the second piece of the Craftsman uh, Versatrack system. My plan is once I upgrade that uh, that backpack blower down there, I'm gonna take that hook and we'll slide everything down. Actually, yeah, I think I'm gonna slide everything down. I'm gonna buy another Versatrack system and I'm gonna put it down here, about right here. And then I'm gonna hang the chainsaw and the uh, hedge trimmers down here and then right here i'm gonna put the two backpack blowers so the reason why i'm so i'm standing so close i got my side by side part right here but uh before long i'll have it moved out the way and uh i'll be able to get to everything a little bit easier so uh, something else i didn't show i do carry a, a, a little cooler with me i normally put a bunch of ice in it and whenever uh of course i put ice in the cooler um i got those uh little thin masks 
and I'll put those in there and uh, on those really hot days, I'll pull one out and I'll, I'll wrap it around my neck, you know, keeps, keeps you good and cold. Or not cold, but it cools you off. This here is the, uh, of course, it's a Craftsman uh, tool magnet. So I just put it up, put it up on the wall with the four screws, and then when it, during the off season, like uh, the other day when I showed the uh, Craftsman box with all the the wrenches and stuff, I, they all hang up here so that I know where they're at at all times, and I ain't worried about where that box is. So there's that. Oh, uh, also for for just just to finish up that. Uh, basically all my equipment that I have. I also have two push mowers and right now everything's on the back porch. Normally I got them in my shed or my shop, but my shop's kind of being used for uh, well, the shop. So I got a lot of my woodworking stuff out there. Um, here's one of my, my, my push mowers. It, it does have the bagging system. It's the Toro Time Master. That's some cedar wood that I, uh, I stored. It is the Toro Time Master. Whenever I did my video the other day about uh, starting your own uh, lawn care company, that was the uh, push mower that the previous owner left here. So, I mean, it's done good. It's done fi fine. Uh, I haven't used it a whole lot. I used it to uh, bag up some leaves at my yard. I just threw everything on the tarp. In fact, threw everything on that tarp right there whenever I go to a customer's house. Uh, my other lawnmower is the uh, Husqvarna. It's uh, the four-wheel drive, self-propel. Um, this was my father-in-law's, and he no longer needs it. So, hey, it's mine now. So that, that works out. So that's uh. And then of course you know you got the shovels, the rakes, and all the other typical stuff, but you know that's not very interesting. That's uh that's pretty much all my equipment. Uh, I do plan on, like I said, I plan on upgrading the uh, backpack blower to the to the PB8010. I did find a uh, another dealer uh, nearby for Echo. I was I was thinking about changing over to steel or or keeping everything Husqvarna because or Red Max because everything. Every dealer around here, that's what they carry. And um, I finally got, I finally found another Echo dealer. Like I said, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big Echo fan. I've, all their equipment's been super strong. I've had no issues whatsoever with any of them. So that's kind of what I like to stay with. And, and plus that 8010 backpack blower is supposed to be the, the biggest and baddest thing on the market. Also, I was looking, what, what the way I found it, the uh, dealer was uh, this, other tree job I got coming up I wanted to get one of those uh, top handle chainsaws so when I'm up in the tree it makes it just that much easier I'm not toting the, uh, that CS400 over there so that's uh, well and speaking of the CS400 I got my uh, my climbing harness over here it's a Buckingham it's you know it's nothing too special my garage is dirty and unorganized right now I got my buddy's uh, Poland Pro handheld uh, blower over here. His dad gave him this, but the uh, I got to replace the gas lines on it for him. It's not working right. And then uh, the spark plug needs to be changed. And I'm probably going to take the, the carburetor out and replace some of the gaskets in there just to make sure everything's running good for him. But anyway, and then here's my gas. I got them all taped up here together. I haven't used them in a while. They are, um, I can't think of the name of them. It starts with a G. But anyway, that's my, that's, that's, uh, yeah, I believe that's everything. So that's how I'll do it. And my gloves, I know uh, Richard Clemens, yeah, he was talking about putting out pine straw and needing to get it, get a new pair of gloves for the summer. Hey, I got the Craftsman. These gloves right here, that I, as you can see, they're dirty and filthy, but 
You know, that's that's the wife's pair. My pair is in the truck. I used them the other day to put out some pine straw. I didn't do a video on that, but those gloves right there, man, they let your hands breathe. They keep them protected from the needles. Like I said, you can get needle splinter, uh, pine needle splinters, and them jokers hurt, hurt, and your hands get all wore out putting out a uh, pine straw from being poked so much. But uh, you know, they work fine and they're cheap. So being a small company just starting out, uh, still within technically within my first year of business, but going into my second season, if that makes sense. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to stay as cheap as I can, but get quality. And that way I don't have to, you know, double spend, you know, buy one thing and it, you know, just because it's cheap and then throw it out because it ain't working right or ain't, it ain't as, as good as you thought it was. So uh, I do try to buy quality stuff, but I may not buy the the most top of the line at all times. So whenever I do buy that backpack blower, that one's gonna be the top of the line though. Uh, but anyway, all right guys, that's my video. Uh, I would also like to say thank you for everybody that has subscribed. I've got up to 72 subscribers and I think I've had a, like 25 in the, this month. So, I mean, I appreciate every one of you. Uh, if y'all don't mind, please hit that thumbs up button for me and it helps me a lot. And uh, if you got any questions, comments, Hey man, comment down below, leave them in the comment section and uh, let's talk about it. All right, y'all take care.